Are you buying a home and you're really curious about what these inspections are all about or what right do you have as a buyer in the state of Virginia for inspections for the property that you're getting under contract or have under contract? Well, let's talk about that a little bit today. I'm Rachel Beasley with That Fit Team and let's get into it. So the state of Virginia is a buyer beware state. What does that mean? It means the buyer, it is up to you as a buyer to do your due diligence and investigate the property that you have under contract. Part of your purchase agreement with your real estate agent is probably going to be some type of a due diligence period, feasibility period, or home inspection contingency period. Those are three different terms for the same thing, meaning I've got an offer, I've got a contract on this house, and I'm going to put a contingency of these inspections, remove the contingency once everyone comes to agreement after the inspections have occurred. So let's talk home inspection. As the buyer, you want a third party licensed home inspector to inspect your home that you have under contract. So you're gonna hire this person, he's gonna come possibly with a team of people. They're gonna inspect this house from top to bottom, roof to crawl space. They're gonna look at the systems of the home. They're gonna check all the plumbing work, toilets. Is everything working properly? What years are the systems of the home, your HVAC, your hot water heater, even and the roof itself. You're gonna to wanna to know if these big system items are gonna to need to have repairs on them. Do you need to plan for that down the road? Are they in good condition? Are they close to the end of their life? These are all things that you're gonna to wanna to know before you actually become the owner of this home. So your inspector is gonna look at all of these things. Now he's gonna do his best to see everything he can. He's not doing an inspection behind the walls or things like that. So you really do have to know that he's doing this with some limitations. During the home inspection, you have the right to be there. It's a great opportunity for you to see the home again after you got it under contract. Sit with the real estate agent, follow around the inspector, but I do suggest don't follow him around too carefully. Let him do his job because when he's done with his inspection, he's going to come to you. You're probably going to sit around the table or stand in the kitchen. That's normally where we land. So you're standing around in the kitchen. He's going to give you a summary verbally and be able to outwardly process that with you of what he found in the home. Is it a good solid home? Are there some maintenance things that need to be addressed. So he's going to go over those things that you might would want to take special attention to when you're looking at the report when you get it later. And it's a great opportunity to ask him questions about what he actually visibly saw. Once you get this report back from your home inspector, you're going to go over this report with your real estate agent, hopefully us. Now we've seen hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of home inspection reports. So we know how to read them. We know what to look for. In fact, what you're looking for for our safety issues, uh, structural issues, electrical, plumbing, anything that might have to do with the safety and structure, anything that's really not cosmetic of the home and see you know which items that are a priority to you to possibly ask the seller to make those repairs before you become the owner. Now this is a negotiation. Just because you ask for something doesn't mean the seller was is or has to say yes as a part of this home inspection report. Have an open mind and know that everyone's trying to work together towards the same goal which is helping you purchase that home. The seller also has to look out for himself too. So work with your real estate agent to work together to come to a good conclusion on that home inspection. And what you're going to do is write the items that you want the seller to take care of on what's called a property inspection contingency removal addendum. It's going to be your list of repairs asking the seller to take care of. You're going to negotiate these and come to terms. Now, let's say you can't come to terms. You can't agree. Well, then either you or the seller actually has the right to terminate the contract without anyone being at fault. So you would get your earnest money deposit back and the seller would put the home back on the market and try and find a new buyer and you go out and try and find another home. But let's say everything worked out and you have an agreed upon property inspection contingency removal addendum. That's a mouthful. In the business, we call that a PICRA. It's an acronym. So you could put up like the acronym PICRA or something. Once we have that in place, then everyone is moving forward as fast as they can. Your next step with your real estate agent is to get with the lender and order the appraisal. The appraisal is going to be another kind of inspection. Um, it's actually an appraisal um, on the home. The appraiser is going to be going to the home to assess the market value of the house. He's going to measure the home, see how big it is, make sure that you're actually purchasing a home, the square footage that, that you're expecting. Now, keep in mind when they measure these houses, sometimes they might be a small discrepancy between what was listed on the MLS, maybe what's listed in the tax record, and what he comes up with. Every appraiser 
measures those homes and rooms differently. So you have to keep that in mind. He's also gonna pull the comparable homes that have sold in the last three to six months within the area that you're purchasing a home. Sometimes appraisers go a mile away from the home. Sometimes if it's new construction, they'll go much further than a mile away to find a home that's comparable to the one that you're buying. Now, let's think apples to apples, oranges to oranges. If you're purchasing a new construction home, they're not gonna be comparing that home that you're buying to a home that was built in the 1980s. That just doesn't make sense. They don't compare, not apples to apples. Let's say you're purchasing a resale home that was built in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 90s, whatever it may be, it's not new construction. They're not gonna be comparing that home to a brand new home. So keep that in mind when you and your real estate agent are making an offer or pulling comps and seeing what that offer should be. You want to really be in tune with that appraiser. Once the appraisal comes in, then you'll know what that market value is that he says the home is worth. And as long as that's the sales price or above the sales price, then you're good to go. Every once in a while, that appraisal number might come in lower than uh, your sales price. And then you kind of have to decide if you can bring the money to the table or if you and the seller go into negotiations. Now, let me say this right now, today, in this crazy seller's market, <laughs> uh, we're seeing people waive the appraisal. and actually actually guaranteeing the sales price no matter what the appraisal comes in. So if the appraisal comes in $15,000 lower than what uh, your sales price is, some buyers right now are actually bringing that extra money to the closing table just so they can get that home. It really is all about you and what's best for you, how much you love that home, and what you can afford to do. There's a lot of other inspections that can go on. One more big one is that termite and moisture inspection. We call it a TMI, not for too much information. <laughs> anyway, so the TMI, that termite and moisture inspection is gonna be conducted because the lender requires a clear termite and moisture letter from a licensed inspector. Now what this is, do, what they're doing is they're inspecting the home for signs of termites, active termites, maybe past active termites. Maybe there aren't termites, but they could see that there were some in the past. If that comes up, then they're gonna actually require a treatment to be done. This is Hampton Roads, you guys. This is a place where termites are very prevalent. And also the humidity in our area really causes a lot of wood destroying fungus underneath houses sometimes. So every once in a while, you're gonna come across an inspection report that's gonna require maybe a fungus treatment. But sometimes those reports may come back and you might have to do some structural things to the home, maybe replace a rotten board or something. So know that that's a possibility. It doesn't need to be a deal breaker, but you're gonna have to work with the seller to get those things taken care of before the lender is gonna be cleared to actually lend and close on your home. So talk to your real estate agent about this a little bit more in detail. I'm just shining a light on this and it's certainly something that you need to talk to with your real estate team about. Now again, there's a lot of other inspections, you guys. If the home that you're purchasing has a pool, you may want to consider getting a pool inspection. If the home has solar panels, you may want to get an actual professional to look at those to make sure they're in working order. If your home that you're purchasing is on a well or a septic system, those are other additional inspections that you're going to want to have on that home before you actually close so you know exactly what you're purchasing and what you need to be prepared to do down the road. Put a little savings up, start putting money away because you're gonna be a homeowner and owning a home does require maintenance that you're gonna have to keep that home up so that when it's time for you to sell, you're a prepared seller. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you some good information about inspections. Again, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to information about inspections. So please get with your real estate agent or get with us. We would love to be that real estate team for you. So let us know, hit us up, comment below with any questions you may have. I'm Rachel with That Fit Team. We're professionals in real estate and passionate about people. We'll see you at the next video. Bye.